In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do Homelander's iconic heat vision. It is, believe it or not, relatively easy to replicate this effect yourself in After Effects and make it look pretty much like what you're seeing on screen. So click the link below in the description to download all the assets you need to follow along with this tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is track both eyes. So I'm going to create two null objects and call them left eye and right eye. Right click, new and select null object. Select the null object and press Ctrl or Command D to duplicate the layer. Next, select the null object, press Enter and name it Right Eye. And I'm going to name the other null object Left Eye. Next, select your footage. Click on Window and select Tracker, making sure your footage is selected. Click on Track Motion. I'm going to move the tracking point onto his right eye first, like so, and select Analyze Forward. Once that's done, hit Edit Target and select the right eye and null layer. Hit OK, press apply, then hit OK again. Do the same exact process for the left eye. Now we have both eyes tracked. Next, I'm gonna add a solid and use the plugin called Optical Flares to create lens flares around both of his eyes. So make sure the lens flare layer is on top of all the other layers. Then set the blending mode to screen to remove the black background. Then click the twirl down button of the flares layer to reveal the effect properties. And under the right eye null, open up the transform properties. On the position X, Y, click and drag this button like so to the right eye null position to parent this layer to the null. I'm just going to collapse all these layers and name this layer Right Eye Flare. Press Ctrl or Command D to duplicate the layer and pick with the position to the left eye null position like so. Next, to stop the red of the lens flare covering all the screen, I'm going to add a mask around both flare layers and feather the mask so that the red cast gradually fades out. Nice. And I'm gonna do the exact same for the left eye. Perfect. If you don't have optical flares, I've created the same flare used in this video for you to use in your own project. Just set the blend mode to screen to get rid of the black background and parent the layer position to the right or left eye and null position. Now as you can see, when Homelander uses his heat vision, his pupils start to glow before the lasers come out. So select the footage layer, add Mocha AE, open up Mocha AE, track both eyes with the spline tool, name them left eye and right eye. I'm going to call this layer right eye mocker. Then when I click to create a mask on the left eye, another layer will automatically appear. Click track forward and I'm going to call this layer left eye mocker. Then save the project by clicking this button on the top right of the screen, then close mocker pro. Duplicate the clip, drag the homelander pupils below the duplicated clip, adjust the scale and position of the pupils, then parent the pupil to the right eye. Next, click on the duplicated clip and in the Mocha Pro effect, click the matte twirl down button. Select Create AE Masks. Then select Invert Mask, then select Apply Matte. I'm going to name the pupil right eye pupil and duplicate it and parent it to the left eye. And I'm gonna name it Left Pupil. Then I'm going to set the opacity of both pupils to 10%. So select the layer, press T and change the opacity to 10%. Do the exact same for the other eye. Next, it's time to add the heat lasers. And for this, we're going to use a free plugin called Sabre. So once you've installed the plugin, create a solid and add the Sabre plugin effect to it. Set the blending mode to screen. Now the preset I'm going to use is the default preset and I'm going to change the color to an orangey red. Next, I'm going to name the solid layer laser left. Then I'm going to parent the core star to the right eye null position. Then I'm going to move the core end position off screen in the direction his eyes are looking. So click and drag this anchor point off screen in the direction like so. Nice. Then I'm going to set the core size to five. Then under customize core, I'm going to set the core start size to 50 so that the laser increasingly gets bigger as it gets further from the eye. And under distortion, I'm going to select the distortion amount to five. Nice. Now I'm going to add a keyframe to the core end to make it look like the lasers are coming out of his eyes. If you look at this clip of Homelander, you can see that they only use two frames for the lasers to travel past the screen. One and two. So we're going to do the exact same. So click on the stopwatch next to core end and move the laser end point halfway like so. Then go to the next frame and move the end point off screen. 
perfect. I'm going to duplicate the saber layer and name it laser left and parent the core start to the left eye null position. Click the stopwatch button next to core and click it again to turn on so we can reset our keyframes. Drag the core end of the left laser halfway like so. Go along one frame, move it off screen. Now that's done, I've set a marker on my clip where I want the lasers to come out. So I'm gonna move both laser layers to the marker like so. And next, I'm gonna keyframe the mask expansion of the optical flares layers. Let's start with the left eye. Open up the mask properties. I'm going to go along maybe five or so frames and set a keyframe on mask expansion. Turn on the visibility, then go back to the start and drag the mask expansion to the left like so until we cannot see the flare anymore. Mine is set to minus three at one. This makes it look like the heat vision is starting from the middle of the eye pupil. And I'm gonna set the first keyframe, right click, select ease out, then click on the graph and click and drag this handle like so, so the mask expansion gradually picks up speed as time goes along. Do the exact same for the right eye lens flare. Next, I'm going to keyframe the opacity of the pupils, select the layer, press T to bring up the opacity, then go along maybe four frames, click the stopwatch button, then go to the beginning of the clip and set the opacity to zero. Do the exact same for the right pupil. Next, I'm gonna move the layers about like so, so that we have the pupils show first, then the flares, then the lasers. And I want the lasers to show when his head is moving forward like so. And perfect, we have the Homelander heat vision effect. My name is Jermaine Grant and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.